Welcome to Suladan Plays Lorona. Which I'm sure is something that I should know what means because everybody in the comments seemed to be referring to it as if it was a well-known myth that I am not as familiar with. This game, despite not containing violence or blood, can be scary and contains several religious images aimed to create an atmosphere and spook the player. Select language! Uh, I do understand that it is particularly a Hispanic legend. From what I've gathered. Yeah, classic Mexican folktale comes to life in this horror game. Solve the mystery of haunted mansion known as La Quinta and the ghost of a weeping woman that wanders the property. Uh, winner of the best overall game in the Unidos Game Jam 2020. A game is based on fact, famous Mexican folktale of La Llorona, pronounced Llorona. Ah! That makes sense. What little I do know. Uh, as well as local stories of northern Mexico and Mexican Revolution. Houses based on La Quinta Touche, a mansion located in northern Mexico that's said to be haunted, was actually built on top of a graveyard. The owner lost in a card game, and it also became a hospital during the Revolution. Uh, for this reason, the mansion is called House of Tears by the locals. There is a lot more I could read, but I'm just going to leave it at that, and we're going to hit English. Hooray! There's a full screen button. Boink. Huh. 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 Hang on, let me try something. There we go, that's better. It, it still had the little bar on top for some reason, and I wanted to, you know, not do, not have that. Behave yourself, OBS. Calm yourself. Okay. The game switching from what was a window to a full screen confused it. But we're going to go ahead and start. Oh, I love the sound. It is well known by every Mexican that Lorona... Your, I'm going to call it Lorona so many times, just bear with me. Wanders during the night weeping and crying, oh my children. This is as far as I can go with you, my child. Why are you 3D and I'm not? I'm a punch John you. John lies godless lands. I'm a punch you. You think you are so smart because you won the house on that infamous card game? No. But the truth is, Mr. Tuche wanted to get rid of the house from the beginning. Or do you think the owner of a casino can lose a simple poker game in his own casino? If he plays fair, then there's always the possibility of loss, but I think you're implying that he didn't play fair. <sighs> in any case. If you continue this path, you'll find a road past a fence that leads out to town and to your new property. I wish you luck. And don't forget your journal. You will probably need it to write down all you're about to see my child. Writing can keep you sane. Open it by pressing ESC. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never heard anybody actually call it ESC. It's, it's the escape key. Yes, it is abbreviated to ESC, but it, it stands for escape. Also, do I just have an ESC on my arm that I just, I, I push, like, eh. Yeah, I know, fourth wall breaking, I just have to poke fun at it. Farewell, my child. Farewell. Punch him! Punch him! Aww. Hey, where'd my hand go? What did you do to my arm? Why is it gone? I guess it's only there when I can interact with something? That's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna click everything anyway. I love these graphics. I'm still very... You might want to fire the architect here. He clearly doesn't know how to use a plumb line. Dude, I build computers and even I know how to use a plumb line. Don't tell me you couldn't build a straight house. Or, well, gravity may be at play here. The whole place could be falling into a sinkhole, apparently. Where am I going? I don't know. I'm gonna go in this house. Well, that house don't work. It broken. What about this house? That house don't have a door. It broken, too. This house has even less of a door. And I keep hearing a sound from out there, and it's not a good sound. Why do all these houses not doors? At least have doors and bar them up or something. Journal updated. Game Dev Boy presents. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this game is made by Game Dev Boy. <laughs> I have a lantern. Fear me. Gotta move. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa! How did I get? get 
Calm down, game. Calm down. I just want to look at the thing you put in front of my face. October 31st, 1931. Good day, Mr. Tucci. I received a telegram from Rome this morning. After our failed exorcism of the property, they're suggesting we find the objects that belong to the mother and her children. Father Guzman. We just feed, feed Father Guzman to whatever's going on here. I can growl too, you know. Don't mess with me. Huh? <gasps> I don't want the key, I want to light the candle. Why am I pointing at it? Light it. You have a lantern. Also spade. I don't trust. I don't trust none of what you're doing. I don't trust that noises. I don't trust this piece of paper. January 10th, 1931. Good day, Mr. Tuche. I'm writing on behalf of the newspaper, El Dorado. We're working on an article and we're wondering if you can confirm if La Quinta was a hospital during the revolution. Jesus Lopez. That paper glows, and again, I want to... You know, if that glow powder wasn't expensive, I would douse everything in it. Well, also the fact that it will wash off if you don't bind it to an object with some form of, you know, epoxy or resin. Uh, strontium aluminate powder is very useful for that if you don't mind that most of it will come in colors like blues and greens if you want a long-lasting glow. Uh, the blue powder will maintain its glow for, I've seen well over 12 hours. The green powder will likewise hold its glow for longer than that. The green is the most potent. The blue and the orange and the red are pretty, but they don't seem to maintain their... I mean, the, like, there's a dark blue and purple, and, like, the darker colors don't seem to maintain their glow for as long. Because it may have something to do with light frequency and photon emissions and, you know, electron exchange and all those whatnots to do with glowing things, but it's fun. Page of Carolina's Diary, April 15th, 1931. I think I'm going to do it. There's a voice. The house is talking to me. It's telling me to do it. The house is on my side. She saw a lot during the revolution. She understands. You know when the house starts talking to you? You need to worry. That's a heart key. I don't have a heart key. I'm going to go up to state. Don't whisper. I wonder what that is. Oh, a lighter. I want it. Give. Give. Oh, hush. I'm not dealing with you. I'm after the lighter. Mama. Mommy. Mama. Lighter. Yay. I have lit the candle. I am happy. I should probably have read that note, but, you know, there was a lighter first. The lighter needed my attention first. Why do you have so many barrels? Are you Donkey Kong? Only he needs that many barrels. November 2nd, 1931. Dear Father, I beg you to please try another exorcism soon after Carolina, di Car Carolina, Carolina. Oh, Caroline. Did what she did. I get rid of everything but some toys and cannot come to remind myself of her and my children. Pedro Tuche. I'm a go like. You hush. I can't Yay. I have lit the candle. I am happy. Uh, scusa. Downstairs! Wait. This downstairs looks a lot like the upstairs I just upstairs from. I'm uh, very confused. Why did you build a house with two floors that look identical to one another? That'd be a heck of a way to mess with somebody. Have them on the third floor. While they're asleep, move them to the second floor where the architecture is the same but everything else is different. Tell, tell them their room has been on the second floor the entire time. Are we really concerned that the cross is going to offend people? Like, I, I, I noticed that it mentioned that there's religious symbolism, and it's like I haven't seen anything outlandish enough to be like, why would it offend? Anyway. November 6, 1931. Greetings, Mr. Tuche. I'm sorry, but I must deny your request for another exorcism. It would be pointless. We need the children's toys and the mother's comb you mentioned to perform another rite. Father Guzman. Yeah, you ain't gonna find that in scripture nowhere. Uh -huh. Where they came up with some of these rituals, nobody knows. A heart in a club. Well, I guess he was a casino owner. It makes sense that he would have, uh, you know, the suits of cards as 
lot. Why do you have different keys for different parts of your house? Who does that? Not counting like having one separate key for a specific office or something where you keep, you know, your money or will or whatever. Like I've seen people have a second key for their office if they have an office or are so inclined. Or the room where the gun cl the gun cabinet is. The gun safe. For those that have gun safes, the rest of us just have gun rooms. And the gun room has a lock on it. And barred, you know. Anyway. <clears throat> a page of Carolina's diary. January 7th, 1931. Father Guzman always says that writing can keep you sane. Dr. Aquila seems to agree. So I got this diary. Even Pedro seems to think it can help my hysteria. I hate him. I love him. Oh, look, speaking of guns. Holy mackerel. I love that animation. So nice, I had to see it thrice. Uh, can I have, can I, well, they're paying it on! What kind of twisted joke is this? Where am I going again? There was nothing in here. If I had a crowbar, I could get into that room with children's toys. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Wait, what was I doing again? Um. Presumably there's a key somewhere. Or I can just light the fireplace. And burn the... Well, that works. I found a demon key. Otherwise known as a diamond key. Or an adamant key. For those so inclined to call diamonds adamants. <gasps> Playing card. Oh my dear goodness. I know exactly what you're trying to tell me here. So that's the six of spades. Oh. Okay, so it's six something something something. Help me remember that. February 15th, 1931. Mr. Tuche, I visited your wife yesterday. Her hysteria seems really bad. She was screaming she was going to drown herself in the river if you kept working so hard. I think you should spend some time with her, Dr. Aguilar. Oh, it's Dr. Aguilar, not Dr. Aquila. Um. I'm not going to go into the interesting history of what people thought hysteria was, so we're just going to... I sprouted two hands for a moment. That's a sign not to continue that conversation. On page of Carolina's diary, March 2nd, 1931. Why does he focus on his children and not me? He spends time playing with Edgar and his stupid spinning top and playing dolls with Maria. Is a walk by the river too much to ask? Um, when you keep talking about throwing yourself into it, yes. He's afraid you're going to throw him in too. Diamond, diamond. Yay. <gasps> Why do... Did you turn your barn into a church? You put two silos next to it and decided it's a church. <gasps> an axe. Oh, hi. I don't know what you are, but I got an axe. I will have you know. Whoa. Has that blurry spot always been there? There appears to have been a smudge on my camera. Somehow. Did you turn your barn into a church? So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Not the, oh, as small as the camera is, nobody gonna notice that. But anyway, November 12th, 1931. Father, the toys and comb were lost somewhere in the property. I believe they're cursed. I've seen the doll move. I've heard the spinning top at nights, and the comb sometimes appears in my bedroom's bathroom. Pedro Touche. <laughs> or Touche. I'm, I'm not good at names, okay? Especially when I'm spookumed. Page of Carolina's Diary, March 11th, 1931. I'm having bad thoughts again. I went to church and confessed all of them, and I'm still having them. Why is God giving me such a hard test? Ooh. Light the candle, light the candle, light the candle, hello candle. Lighting the candles did nothing. Wait, did you not stay lit? Oh, hi, wait, what happened? Oh. Uh, the clubs is one. So one of clubs, six of spades. Why did I think coming into there was going to do anything for me? What do you want me to do, point at it? I think that means the game's telling me I can interact with it, but not at this time because I lack a certain item and it's gonna be a shovel and I just realized those are graves. Gonna be digging up some graves tonight. Doodle doodle doodle. Axe, axe, axe. Can't climb in the window, but go ahead. Stop. 
stop that. Also, that looks like the Last Supper, but hugely pixelated. Page of Carolina's Diary, February 14th, 1931. Today he's working again. It's February 14th and he's at the casino. He's never home and when he is, he only pays attention to our children. I hate him, I hate him, and I hate myself. You'd be glad he's paying attention to the children. What, what? Do, do you just have a random shower in the wall with no drain? Nine of hearts, I'm not gonna remember these. One of clubs, six of spades, nine of hearts. I mean, I could brute force the rest of the way, since I have three out of four of them, there's only nine remaining possibilities. Oh, I'll deal with you eventually. I would brute force it, but you know, I'd rather rather do, do it legitimately. Oh. Back off. Back off, I say. Also the little toy vanished. January 13th, 1931. Greetings, Mr. Lopez. Regarding your question, La Quinta was taken by Pancho Villa and his army during the revolution and became a hospital for injured soldiers. I hope this can help with your article. Pedro Tuche. There's no candles in here. How dare I will smite you. I don't have a heart key. Am I supposed to brute force it? I have three out of four. Huh. That wasn't like that before. Uh, I figured there'd be a card in here. Huh. I don't have a heart key. Well, we're gonna do it. Okay, so, what was that? 6901. There we go. Oh, look, the heart key. Boink. November 19th, 1931. Dear Pedro, don't lose hope and believe in the Lord. Bury the toys and comb in sacred soil near the chapter. Oh great, now you've got sacred dirt? Holy water wasn't bad enough. Now you got sacred dirt. <sighs> you want me to buy your magic holy book of matches next? Uh, anyway. Tomorrow you'll be celebrating the anniversary of the revolution like nothing happened, Father Guzman. I got a heart key. I'ma go open the door. Not that door. Not that door. That door. Hello, door. February 14th, 1931. Dear Dr. Aguilar, I hope you're doing fine. Carolina has been sick. She's having the hysteria again. I want to roll my eyes so much at that, but we're just going to move on. If you're curious, go look it up. I have to work at the casino all day. I don't have time for this. Please come see your ASAP. Pedro Tuche. November 26, 1931. Dear Pedro, I haven't received a response from you in a few days, and I didn't see you at the Revolution Parade last week. Hope everything is feeling be going better now. Father Guzman. November 29, 1931. Dear Father, I've lost La Quinta in a poker game today. I feel so relieved. You know, Father, the person was fair and square, but I'm starting to think that I lost it on purpose. Pedro Tuche. No, you th ooh, shovel. I got a shovel. I got a shovel. Now I can beat the ghost over the head. Wait, didn't I break these already? Probably not. This is a different door. I got a shovel. I'ma go dig up some graves. Grave, grave, grave. Dick, dick, dick. <gasps> Hello, skeleton. Hi. Looks like it's trying to give me a hug. Probably is, but then it's going to drag me into the underworld or something. I don't know. Club key. I got a shovel. I don't need a club. Candles in there really add a spooky ambience to my walking past. Uh, club key, club key, club key, club key, club key. Where's the door? Where's the door? Well, that ain't the door. We gotta go upstairs then. Door. Door. 
<gasps> Heart door. Hello. Drown, 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 Page Carolina's Diary, April 20th, 1931. Hmm. I wonder what happened to Carolina. I'll find a comb. <laughs> he did say it appeared in the sink, didn't he? Hi. Oh, hush. You had your time in the limelight. Now my turn. Uh, upstairs is the attic. I don't need up there. I hadn't found a club door. Unless I've walked by it. Ah, club door. There you are. <gasps> the basement. <laughs> what have I done? I can't believe I drowned my children. My hands are stained with the blood of my blood. No, I mean, you could say the blood of the innocent, but, uh, but he kept paying them so much attention, I can't continue living. And she killed her children. And then killed herself. Ah! <gasps> Strange hallway in the bottom of a basement that makes no logical sense. You said the toy was buried. I have an axe. Back off. I have a shovel that's covered in sacred dirt, too, and I can bonk you on the head with it. Been slathered up real good in that sacred dirt. I rolled the axe around in it, too, while you weren't looking. Ah, uh, what was I doing? Ah. Uh, I got the toy and a comb. Let's... Excuse me. Oh, there's the four of diamonds. There was a break in the fence I should have found. A page of Carolina's diary, April 10th, 1931. It's been a month since the last time I wrote. I'm not fine. I'm not okay. I feel like I'm drowning in my horrible thoughts. Drowning like drowning in my own mind. Okay, dig, dig, dig. <gasps> Stop. Also a child skeleton. Also a river. A river, a river, a river, river, river. Gonna run and do. Nope, rocks. That is not a rock. That is a stone D20. It's the, uh. Papa. The dragon. Papa. The, the Dungeons and Dragon players, Dragon Ball. See? They're all D20s. Or D somethings. They're too perfectly shaped. Also, I'm out of bounds. I mean, not technically, because the game let me out here, but. Now I gotta walk all the way back around because I can't just... Well, I wouldn't want to hop that fence either. They're pointy. I like that you can at least see the stuff at a distance so you know where the entrance and exit hall was. That has nothing on it but what is presumably a keyhole. I guess I'm supposed to take it in here and burn it, which is probably what all the candles was about. I don't remember what it said to do with them. No way, didn't it say something about burying them in sacred dirt? Stop making spookum sound. I hear it. Stalking me. Taunting me. Need Carolina's comb. Spin it. Bury all three near the church. Well, I've got all three. And I'm near the church. Oh, is that what the glow? Oh, that's what the glowy interactable skeleton was. That's her skeleton. Yes, we're going to chant it into submission. That's how this works. There you go. You and your kids go off to wave or just get off my property. Doesn't that mean the exorcism failed? Thanks for playing. A game by Alfredo Estrada, aka Game Day Boy. There's so much on here, I can't read it all fast enough. Well, I hope you have a pause button because I couldn't read fast enough. A very fascinating game. Very interesting. I like that the game uh, managed to maintain moments of tension and atmospherics without being too over the top. No huge jump scares, just nice little, uh, well, not nice, but. You know, well-spaced, well-timed, and well-done little scares that in themselves were not hugely... They weren't immersion-breaking, they weren't problematic, and they, and they fit the theme of the game. At no point did I feel like nothing was going to happen, but it turns out nothing was going to happen. 
that's a really good balance when you can manage to keep a player on edge feeling unnerved without uh, actually having to have a threat there because they don't know there's not a threat there. In any case, this has been a very interesting game. Thank you, Game Dev Boy. It's quite fascinating. I, uh, I don't really know of anything to recommend. It seems quite... Uh, I can see why it won the award. It's very well done. I'm going to go ahead and pause here, though. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next game.